10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Well, good morning, good afternoon, depends on when you're watching it. Welcome to Little Blessings Online. And today, I've got a special guest, Peter, whose hands appear in the art time later. So now you can see his face as well. I've got my cup of um, Earl Grey tea, because that's how I get going. Peter's got a cup of tea, because he likes tea too. Good lad. Um, and also, as ever, we're joined by our technical support team over there. And you'll see in the background, um, there's a blue police light. We'll go back to you again. So if you look in that, you'll see a blue, a blue police light in the top corner, just above Joe's head. Um, and that blue police light is because Joe used to have a job as a police officer. And we're looking at a little bit at people today and what they look like uh, and what we do and how we are and all those sorts of things. So we thought we'd quick, quick job look at jobs because joe used to be a police constable and there's a picture of joe standing next to a police car where she used to work that's joe in her uniform next to a police car um, the next picture we've got is of a job that i used to do which i've talked about a few times because i used to be a lorry driver and this is one of the trucks i used to drive which was very very much nice to drive moment much fun and um, there's some other photos i haven't got sadly um the other thing i used to do is drive trucks with cranes on the back so if you've ever seen a big pack of bricks or blocks or big bulk bags of sand being delivered to a house it's the kind of thing that i used to do a lot for about 15 years those are two jobs peter what job would you like to do when you're older be a police officer be a police officer um mummy has been Speaking to him about the advantages of being in the police service like she was. So, yes, actually, no, in fairness, that's what Peter would love to do. Because he's really, there's, there's good and there's bad. And when children don't say sorry, it's wrong. So he's already got the policeman stuff in him already. So um, we've got some really exciting stuff today. We've got art time, we've got song time and part two of our story time. If you missed past part one on creation with Arnie the Aardvark and Mikey Mouse... Um, you have to watch that again on YouTube or Facebook in a catch-up situation. We'll try and put a link at the end of this for you. So, for today, I wonder what jobs you would like to do when you get older. Maybe you want to be a police officer or a, a fireman was kind of what I wanted to be when I was little, but I, I didn't want to do that when I got older. I quite fancied driving the fire engine, so I kind of drove trucks. So I wasn't too far off. Um, but I wonder what jobs you might want to do when you're a little older. Well... With that, we're going to jump straight into story time and we're going to listen to Arnie the Aardvark as he tells some more of the story of creation. There I was in this brand new place called Earth. And there was me and there was Mikey Mouse and we'd been starting to explore this place more and more every day. We'd made some great friends. Lenny the lion, Tilly the tiger, Millie the meerkat, Henrietta the hedgehog, Doug the dog, Bobby the bear, Kelly the kangaroo, and Eddie the elephant. Me and Mikey Mouse, we were almost getting used to Eddie's cool trunk and the loud screeching noise he made with it. We thought the place was pretty full though, with so many cool animals and trees, mountains and our sand castles on the beach. But things were about to get even more exciting. I'd seen all these animals simply come to life when this lovely, kind, gentle chap, he called himself God the Creator, just spoke. And then there they were, trees, animals, Birds, the sea, mountains, everything. I really liked God the Creator. Even Lenny the Lion got all calm and chilled out when he was walking about with us with Lucas the Lamb. And they'd fall asleep near each other. Man, the teeth on Lenny the Lion were so frightening. But not with God the Creator nearby. 
Anyway, there was Mikey Mouse and me wondering what we could possibly see next when we saw another new animal. But there was only one of them and, well, he seemed a bit different from the rest of us. God, the creator, took this stuff, he called it clay, and he made it into this funny looking thing that he called man. And man was he funny. He had four legs, like Eddie the Elephant, but he didn't use them at all properly. Two of them just hung there by his side. He had a funny looking head, small ears, a nose you could barely see, and he was always making sure we were all okay. God the Creator gave him a name. He called him Adam. Adam was pretty cool. He had a special gardener's hat on his head and he went about the place giving everybody names. I'd thought he'd run out, but he kept going. He was very creative too. Me and Mikey Mouse thought he looked pretty sad though, so we thought we'd go and make friends with him and cheer him up. Adam was funny. He had thumbs and he could pick up things that we couldn't, but he didn't have a tail, so he couldn't think climb things like Mikey could. And his nose was teeny tiny and he didn't much like eating ants. How strange. We played some games, we showed him the sea, we climbed the trees we'd found, but Adam was always sad. He always seemed to be looking for something. We wondered if he'd lost his keys, whatever they are. Turns out he didn't have anybody to talk to, like him, or help him look after the garden. We brought our friends along to play with us, Lenny the lion, Tilly the tiger, Millie the meerkat, Henrietta the hedgehog, Doug the dog, Bobby the bear, Kelly the kangaroo, Eddie the elephant, and Lucas the lamb. And we had some great fun times, playing in the sand, sunbathing, swimming in the sea, making sand castles. But Adam still looked a little bit sad. Next thing we know, and God the Creator puts Adam to sleep, cuts him open and takes out one of his bones. This God chap was pretty clever. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm glad Mikey Mouse was there with me, otherwise I'd never believe myself. It was out of this world. God takes the bone and makes it into another Adam. Well, nearly Adam, sort of the same, but this Adam, well, they're a bit different. Adam called a woman. All I know is that she was lovely too, had beautiful long hair and really soft hands. Me and Mikey Mouse tried to stay away from God the Creator for a bit after that. We didn't fancy being put to sleep and having our bones made into even more of us. That seemed a bit weird. But it worked well for God and Adam never felt a thing. The place was getting really full now with all these animals. And now Adam and his wife, he called her Eve. But trying to ruin our perfect little garden was Sneaky Snake. He was always trying to cause trouble and upset everybody. All the time. He wasn't nice to play with. Because all he liked to do was sneak about the place making fun of all my friends stealing their besties toys and stamping on our sandcastles. He even made fun of Adam and Eve and said they didn't look very nice. He got them into all sorts of trouble. Adam and Eve got very upset but then God the Creator comes along and sorts it all out. He took Sneaky Snake out of the garden, has a long chat with Adam and Eve to sort out all the messes that Sneaky Snake had made. Next thing you know, and God the Creator pulls out this massive sewing machine, starts getting busy with the leaves, stitching them together, and he makes a matching t-shirt and shorts combo for Adam and Eve to wear. Talk about Mr. Creative. Honestly, if me and Mikey House hadn't seen this whole thing with our own eyes, we'd struggle to believe it at all. But it really did happen like that, and it was amazing to see. And we soon discovered there was a whole lot more world out there to explore. We wondered what we'd find. So I hope you enjoyed part two with Arnie the Aardvark and Mikey Mouse as they were looking at what was happening in the world. We have for you a couple of things. So Peter, do you want to hold yours up first? 
So we were talking about me being a lorry driver. There you go. Um, and because I was a lorry driver, one of the things I used to like buying my children, bit of a click, was trucks. And this is something uh, a friend gave to me. It's the sort of truck I used to drive. Can I try and do it that way? Clicking, sorry. There we go. So that's the kind of truck I used to drive. That's a bit small, actually. Um, I used to drive a bit bigger than that. Proper sized trucks. And because I like trucks so much, another click. I've got two of these. I've got doors and everything. Look, you can open the doors at the back, which is really cool. Um, so the other thing we wanted to talk about was, because I like tractors and things, we've got tractors and trucks. We like to talk about books. So this has got in it lots and lots and lots of really cool pictures of trucks. They're really, really awesome. That's my tractors and trucks book. The other one that Peter especially likes is, do you want to hold that one? This is Tractor Trouble with Farmer Fred, which to be honest, it's really cool. We enjoy reading that. I wonder what your favourite books on trucks and tractors and things like that are, or your favourite book on a job. Well, we've now got a song called Royalty coming up, and I chose this one today because it's all about how awesome every single one of us is. We're amazing people. And this song is all about the fact that we are really, really precious and really, really valuable. So I hope you enjoy getting involved with the actions. Get yourself warmed up. Get some safe space around you. And let's go with royalty. God made me who I'm meant to be He loves me just the way I am God made me who I'm meant to be His dream for me is so amazing For this simple reason I am happy to be me Whoa, whoa, whoa I got watches over me Whoa, whoa, whoa I feel like a royalty For this simple reason I am happy to be me God made me who I'm meant to be He loves me just the way I am God made me who I'm meant to be His dream for me is so amazing For a simple reason I am happy to be me Whoa, whoa, whoa My girl watches over me Whoa, whoa, whoa I feel like a royalty For this simple reason I am happy to be me Watches over me. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. I feel like a royalty for this simple reason. I am happy to be me. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper, and He's deeper than a submarine. Wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. 
He's higher than a skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Our God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. Yes, He holds us in His hands. Yes, He holds us in His hands. Yes, He holds us in. hope you got your action on um, so Peter and I today are sitting in the lounge we're not in where we normally do our, our recording for all this stuff because it's a bit too hot so we're sitting downstairs and we've got some fans to try and keep us cool now I said that in our art time today Peter's hands appear on the camera and actually they don't appear but the efforts of Peter's hands do appear on there because he helped make one of the people that Joe is going to show you in a minute did you see, well, I see how observant you are, during royalty, if you looked behind where I was doing the actions, I wonder if you saw some of the artwork that Joe has done in our previous Little Blessings Online episodes. There was all sorts of really cool stuff on there. I wonder if you saw that. So we're going to go now into our art time video. So get yourselves comfortable. You can watch this again on YouTube later if you want to. But this is Jo as she teaches us to make a person. Right, today we're going to basically decorate a person, make a person. As you can see, I've done one. Well, actually my son made this one and he just used Sharpie pens and created um, a lovely person there. And he's actually folded and bended him so he can sit up like that. That's quite cool. I've gone a bit crazy with my hair, green hair, and I've just put lots of little coloured paper and I found some star stickers. Um, and so we're just going to decorate. So you take the template, which we've provided on the website, Pet Berry Bunch, take the template, or you can just draw your own shape of a person, and then you literally cut it out like this. And then you just decorate it however you want. So you'll need scissors to obviously cut out the person. Um, I've got sharpies and a pencil. I've got a bit of string for the hair this time, so I'm just going to stick that on. And obviously, if you're going to stick stuff on, you need a bit of glue. So I'm just going to pop a bit at the top of the head. Um, string, wool. I've used wool on my, my other one. Uh, you don't have to have hair. This one hasn't got hair. And I've just put a bit of string on there, and that looks like hair there. Um, I'm going to do use black sharpie for eyes. One, two and a nose and I think I'll give my person green eyes this time green and I'm going to go for the same I think red lips like that um, and you can put clothes on your person so I'm just going to have a t-shirt because it's the summer and maybe I'll go for shorts this time like that and then for, for this one I think I was I could do Quite like the idea of doing a rainbow colored top so i'll do red and then orange and keep going until my colors are done so you could do that do whatever color you want you can use crayons you can use pencil i've got sharpies here any kind of felt tip pen and i'll stick things on it's starting to look really really colorful there and what I'll do is I'll just do all the colors of the rainbow and then I, what if I carry on doing it it would fill up my t-shirt and for my tr my shorts I've just got some spots that I've got hanging around the house so I'm going to give my shorts some be spotty I'm just going to randomly dot them around it's actually looking very colorful very summery. I'll have some blue 
and some yellow. You literally do whatever you want to do. Oops, that one didn't work. And what I might do to finish my person off, I think I have a little necklace here. Yeah, that looks really cool. And that's it. I'm going to turn my fans off so you can't hear the whirring. I hope you enjoyed that little art video that Joe put together for you. Um, if you want to make those up, that would be fantastic. There's all sorts of things you could do. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see um, our website and our email address. If you wanted to email those to us, we can share those with other people to show off your artwork. I hope you've enjoyed Little Blessings Online today. We've had a great old time. Um, it's been really good fun making the stories and the videos and all the songs and all that. Have you enjoyed yourself, Peter? Yeah. Okay, so we might have a revisit of Peter in the future. So I'm going to say thank you to my tech team. Bye. Bye. Okay, <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to say thank you for joining us. So we're going to put some links on for you so you can watch the other creation part one video with Arnie the Aardvark and Mikey Mouse. Um, and we've got a link for you as well from the art video that Joe spoke of. Have a great rest of your week and a great rest of your day. Um, in this heat wave, if you're watching it with us tomorrow, or was it Monday? If you're watching with us on Monday morning, I'm getting all confused, um, then uh, try and stay cool. I think we've got to 33 degrees in the southeast where we are, so of the UK. So stay safe, stay cool, stay hydrated, keep drinking. Um, if you've got trucks, you can send us photos of your trucks. There you go. That'd be fantastic. But thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next week for another Little Blessings Online. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now. Stay up to date with The Berry Bunch. You can follow us online, www.berrybunch.family. We're on facebook.com forward slash berrybunchfamily. You can also find us on Instagram and YouTube as well.